I meet lots of interesting people who I want to help. And the best way for me to give back is to quickly share who they're helping professionally and who they wish they could privately or philanthropically help more. And I help you by keeping the interview short and sweet. People in my circle can pick and choose who to directly and indirectly help with their business or charitable contributions. Who are you helping? Don't forget to subscribe or follow me on YouTube and TikTok so they start paying me to do more content like this. Let's get started. Hey, how's it going? I'm Dan Fradenberg, and this is for Who Are You Helping? I am a commercial real estate guy, so that means I'm constantly talking to other syndicators, that's investors, buyers, sellers, and whatnot. But sometimes somebody pops up on my radar and I wanna get a clearer idea of what exactly it is they do for people so that you know as well. Uh, today I'm joined with Echo. Echo, how are you doing today? I'm great, Dan. Thanks so much for having me. Oh, definitely my pleasure. So the first thing before we get into the uh, who you help professionally and all those other questions, uh, first, do you want to say a thing or two about yourself, Echo? Oh, sure. Um, well, my name is Echo Karras, and uh, I live and work in uh, Daytona Beach, and I love it here. Uh, so um, I work for a company called Engineered Tax Services, and um, I love it. Uh, I have degrees in accounting, finance, and law, and a 30-year uh, career in insurance, uh, all facets from financial services as a registered rep to PNC and uh, casualty market. So um, it's really fun for the work that I'm doing because that all kind of comes into play. So I'm just happy to be here and, and nice to meet you. And thanks again for connecting. Oh, definitely my pleasure. So let's go to the first question. It is, who do you help professionally? And let me fence that in a little bit for you, you in the audience, which is because of, uh, I have a background in tech, specifically it's the CRM agency uh, background. So that's mass marketing, sending out 5 million emails a month, doing millions of dollars per year in transactions. And if you're familiar with marketing, that's how I got into marketing. The most difficult part of it is called messaging, which is how do you say what it is you do in a really effective way so people who are in the market for that sort of service or product, they think of you. So my first question is who do you help professionally? And that can be uh, the role that they play or the customer avatar. So uh, let's, let's fence that in a little bit if you don't mind, Echo. So uh, who exactly do you help professionally? Yeah, so that's a great question. So um, basically what I, I'm dedicated to the growth of small and mid-sized businesses here in America uh, in the realm of um, serving them with access to the, the tax breaks um, and the benefits of the tax code that are typically reserved just for large corporations. So that's, uh, that's the, the founding nature of our, of our company. And uh, it's real easy to get behind to help people maximize the code and minimize their their liabilities, right? Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. And of course, uh, one thing that's a little bit of an issue as far as like the media presentation, you know, the the, the PR in general is, uh, you know, there's a big movement for people to pay their fair share. And I think that's a pretty disingenuous thing for a politician <laughs> to say, because they're the ones in the first place who put those laws in place. And they're giving these advantages because they want people to partake in these activities, like investing in real estate, like in investing in oil and gas and whatnot. So I think that's really fantastic what you do. But my next question is, who do you wish you could help more? Now, I recognize that not everybody has had the financial success to be able to even make the choices with their own family that they want to. A lot of people struggle to spend enough time with their family. And that is an absolutely exceptional answer. I love that answer for who you wish you could help more. But some people, they're overachievers. I've interviewed some people who uh, have orphanages around the world. And it's like, that's, that's very enviable to be able to help that much. But uh, more specifically, uh, Echo, in your life, uh, privately, voluntarily, philanthropically, even artistically, who do you wish you could help more? Yeah. Ah, uh, gee, it's, it's a, it's a pretty broad, broad question or broad, broad, thought anyway but um i just generally i i try to to kind of lead my life by example and uh you know create positive change in my own life and and inspire others to do the same so whatever that looks like for people um i'm always happy to volunteer um my time to help people i like to match effort so if there's um something you know someone has a personal issue that they're they're grappling with and and i've 
I've already been there, done that kind of thing, then I'm always happy to uh, meet them where they're at and kind of uh, match their effort and help them, you know, kind of broaden their scope and and expand their horizons. So um, a few years back, I was uh, dubbed a solutions expert because uh, I'm, I'm, you know, it's, it's a better take than saying I'm a problem solver, right? But that's the negative side of it. So I try to just keep my, my solutions expertness focused on, you know, how can I add value to people's lives? How can I be the best connector? How can I be the best professional? How can I be the best friend, family member, mom, you know, the whole thing. And, and so really just, it, it's truly my passion to, to help other people just, just learn how to be and do their best and, and, you know, inch it along, you know, eventually it all adds up, right? Those small investments over time will eventually add up. So um, I, I just, I like being a resource that way to people and, and just really helping them think outside the box kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love that. That's fantastic. And and one of the big reasons, the big motivations b behind starting Who Are You Helping is because I, I don't know if you know this, but I'm from the internet. And one of the things that I found, regardless of where I live, you know, like whether it's in Taiwan or Canada or working with Americans, who knows what it is, I found that uh, there's always a push to shop local. And mm. that's very mm -hmm. important to make sure that the people in your area are happy and successful and can uh, live fulfilling lives. But at the same time, you know, me being from the internet, it's like, well, that's where do I get my, where, who throws me my bone? And so, right. so, so what uh, hit me is you need to have another way of judging who you choose professionally for whatever services you choose. And the best way I found for that is to find who's the secondary beneficiary of choosing my guest as a professional. And now it's time to be a little bit more selfish because my next question is how can people help you? I like to imagine that, uh, you know, the genie comes out of the lamp or you're sitting on Santa's <laughs> lap. And, uh, but of course, Santa in this case is whoever's in the audience. How can people in the audience help you, Echo? Oh, well, that, thank you for that. That's a great opportunity. Um, yeah, so I would love introductions to CPAs or accountants who are serving uh, the commercial investors, you know, whether it be multifamily investors, um, syndicators like yourself, um, anybody that's in, in the commercial uh, investment space where we can then, you know, use tools like cost segregation or um, other, other kind of 1031 exchange, those, those kinds of tax benefits that will help people um, keep more dollars in their pockets. So I guess anyone that's looking to, to keep some more dollars in their pockets for their commercial real estate investments, then, then I'd, I'd love to hear from them. So, All right. I love it. I love it. And my next question is uh, how to reach out and uh, help you mm -hmm. in those different ways. I should also do a plug for myself. I've got this distinct last name, so I'm easy to find, especially on LinkedIn. And of course, uh, you can see I've got some books and a hat on me. Real estate is a scam is basically showing you the <laughs> digital security things that stuck out to me as I was learning how syndication works. In other words, a smart person could walk in, be very observant and still end up losing their shirt just because they don't have enough people with experience around them. So I decided to make a book and some videos showing how full timers make sure that they don't lose their shirt for those reasons. But uh, if people want to reach out to you, Echo, uh, is it LinkedIn like me, which is easy to find? Or is there a website, phone, email? How should people reach out? Yeah, yeah, LinkedIn is great. I've I've had great success connecting with true authentic people um by way of LinkedIn just like just like we connected, right? And uh so that's the best way and um also, you know, feel free to text me. Um my number is 386-214-8904. Uh you know, just I just tell people just text me and let me know who you are and and what you got going on and I'm happy to to give you a ring back, you know. Um, cause you never know. And sometimes, I mean, you can't help everyone. Right. But, but you try, mm -hmm. <laughs> I try real hard. To, I, I'm that bridge between the people and the process. So, um, I try real hard. And, and if I can't help you, I, I have a, a wealth of people in my network that I'm happy to make referrals to. So, you know, that's, that's, I, I like it when people think of things that I don't do at all, but I'm the first person they think of. So <laughs> I guess that's a good, good thing for me. But yeah, yeah, just send me a text or find me on LinkedIn. 
Great, great. Yeah, that mental real estate taking up some space in their heads is very important. So that is uh, how to reach out to Echo. That's who she helps professionally. That's uh, who she wishes she could help more and also how you can help her. But my last question, Echo, uh, I didn't tell you this in the outline, but uh, did you know that if the people in the audience click that downright hideous subscribe button that's down there, then that helps me? Oh, excellent. Click the subscribe button. <laughs> right, exactly. And, and just so we're crystal clear on what it's all about, it doesn't cost you anything. I'm biased. I want people to click on it because if enough people do, then YouTube will start to pay for these videos instead of me. And I think that would be amazing. And the trade-off to you is my videos may show up on your list of suggestions like this episode of Who Are You Helping featured on whoareyouhelping.com. But quite frankly, you can go ahead and ignore those videos on your list of suggestions because... I just appreciate the fact that you spent this time with me. Just like Echo, I appreciate you joining me today. This has been great. Well, thank you for having me. I'm, I'm happy to be a resource in any way. Awesome. Love it. Thanks. Hey there. Are you interested in commercial real estate deals? Would you like to build your network of investors and deal sponsors? Well, the best thing I can do for you is have you appear on a chance encounter interview as featured on DanDoesDeals.com. You may know me from 506 BME or as a top commercial real estate voice on LinkedIn. And if I had to think of the top factors in your success in commercial real estate, my top two would be your network and your ability to effectively explain how deals work with effective communication. The 15 minute chance encounter format, it checks both of those boxes and they ensure that you can share your private deals with me without the SEC calling it a public solicitation. So hop onto LinkedIn. You can see my name is over here, Dan Freidenberg, and search for my name. And the, the best way to reach me and book that is to message me through LinkedIn. And don't worry, it doesn't matter if you decided to enter this space just last week or two weeks ago, or if it was decades ago. It'll be fun and easy to look good. We're just asking multiple choice questions based on your core competencies you look to contribute, your level of sophistication, all that kind of stuff. So I hope to hear from you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye. Hey, what's up? I'm Dan Fradenberg, and realestateisascam.com has the brand new book, which is what you should have. You should have the book. And what's the book all about? Real Estate's a Scam? Well, it's my biggest thing is taking aim at coaches who teach people how to do illegal real estate transactions because that pissed me right off when I learned about it. And the other thing, too, is um, the different securities acts that uh, basically mean if you're poor, then you're going to have to meet a bunch of lawyers and get really, really lucky just to make sure you're not breaking the law by uh, raising money. Anyway, so uh, I hope you check it out. Thanks, guys. Bye.